Hi everyone, let's go ahead and get started with stream lit status and progress indicator example. So previously we have seen three sections. These sections were text display, text inputs and interactive widgets. Now we are going to see this one. So for that we have to first stop our previous one. If you are not running then uh, you don't need to stop. Thereafter to run this particular example you need to write stream lit run there after the name of the file so streamlit run and the name of file is 04 status and progress indicators dot py as soon as you run this thereafter you need to copy this link and then you can paste that link here that's exactly the same link what we had earlier so now you see the streamlit status and progress indicator examples only the title is displayed here since we do not have anything in this file and here is our reference application which we are going to build here and the code for these files you can find out I mean code for these applications you can find out at my github repository Lakshmi Merit Streamlit Tutorials so here all these tutorials codes are updated you can find out these all these codes are uploaded in real time so Streamlit status progress indicator will start with the progress bar I'll be also showing you how you can use the st.empty that you can check it in four section here fourth section st.empty so this is kind of an empty you know a container in a streamlit which you can use to assign any of these or any of these I mean to say that an empty component but you can assign any of other components in runtime dynamically whenever you needed those at the later time perfect let's go ahead and start making changes in your current file and those changes will be visible here so we'll start with the with the empty element so I say that uh, st dot empty that's the empty element I am gonna read it in empty so that's the empty element all right so nothing is printed here as of now you need to click on always run so still nothing is printed because this is an empty element now you can set in this empty element a text data if you want so empty dot uh, set text alright uh, sorry not the set text in fact you can simply use the text data here so you can say that this text will be replaced after five seconds let's say so you see there there is text data and this will be updated in five seconds but that five second you need to write here so I'm going to write here time dot sleep for five second thereafter this particular you know things are going to run here so I write here st dot write then I say that this is new text data okay so it runs there but after five seconds you will see that this new text data will be displayed but the problem is here this text is not replaced it has inserted here a new element to replace this text data you need to use it again but you can't use these things because these things are not assignable once you have created one you know let's say for example you write it something you know ABC text data but later on you cannot use this ABC dot text or dot write anything to change your text data so that's the beauty of this empty element here now at the place of this what you can do you can say that empty dot text now in the same element this text will get replaced by this particular text after five seconds you see that this got replaced by this new text data that's the beauty of this empty element let's go ahead and see how you can use the progress bar to use the progress bar I'm just going to read it into a variable progress is equal to st dot progress and start of the progress value is 0 
and thereafter in run time I'm going to fill the value of this progress bar all right one two three four five it will keep filling there thereafter I say that here status text is equal to st dot empty thereafter I say that for i in range of 101 or 100 whatever you say that for i in range 100 then you can say that time dot uh, sleep so what I'm going to do here I'm going to fill this progress bar with the 500 millisecond of the delay in fact less than 500 second delay I can do 0.1 there itself only thereafter I say that here the progress dot progress and then I put here the value i now after uh, this one I'm going to reduce it to just two seconds so that it can execute even more faster way just I'm going to set it one second so you see that this is filling here and this will fill here quickly in 10 seconds this will fill there if I make it you know 0 0.5 so it should fill it even more quickly once this filling is done thereafter you will see nothing because I have not placed anything here but if I check uh, if I put here status dot text and then I put here text data and then if I display the progress in the runtime how much progress is done there then it will display that progress in runtime as well so that I you can say that here okay so the progress is here changing inside this here once progress is done then at the same place you can say that status dot text dot uh, status text dot text then you can say that progress done so you know that this empty y needed the reason was if you use here st dot write it will write it multiple times other than that it will also not write I mean it will write multiple times and then for this final one it will again write it all right okay ah, sorry that's the problem there so I need to write it in a format format progress dot format so once this is completed then it will say that progress is done okay progress is not done because uh, it has not completed it that's why I need to put it here uh, 100 I can make it even more smaller so that this can be even more faster yep okay so seems like this progress is not done yet we I need to make it to range that goes beyond that somehow it is not able to pick that let me just see that if it is able to pick this perfect okay so that format was not working but right now it is working so this progress is done there perfect let's start with the spinner so to start with the spinner I need to use here st dot spinner but you need to understand that why we need a spinner so a spinner is something let's say you are doing some process and you want your user to wait for some time and you want to display that message so for that message you can use the spinner so I write here with st dot spinner and then you say that here waiting da, 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 da. so once you write this with uh, you know with command then whatever you write inside this block until this is completed you will be seeing there a spinner block will be shown there so I'm just going to see uh, I'm going to s say here time dot sleep five that means it is going to sleep for five seconds here 
okay so till 5 second you will be seeing here that some process is going on so this time dot sleep is not necessarily you need to use here you can use any process which takes longer time and you want to tell your user that there is something happening so for that purpose you can say that wait like let's say you are downloading some large file then you can load that large file here it's like that load large file here and display this waiting message to your user once this thing is done then you can simply say that st dot success message then you can see that process is done it's like that once process is done then you will see that a success toast will be displayed here I'm just going to make sure that it is just one second so that it should not introduce much delay executing this okay so that's how you can do that let's go ahead and see how you can uh, you know display a different kind of uh, toast messages so you have seen here success one but there are many other like you if, if something happens wrong you can simply use their st dot warning then you can say that this is warning message then you can use their st dot error you can use that for you, you can use this st dot error for any error message so i write here this is error you can use st dot info if you want to display any information this is information so this toast you will be able to see here a success is here warning is there and thereafter error and this is general information you can display that you, you you can also decorate it if you want to decorate it here so for the decoration purpose you can use like st dot subheader and then you can put here a snow it's like that so in fact not st dot subheader why i'm going to put that subheader so i can simply write here uh, st dot snow in fact all right so as soon as everything is completed you will see that you know uh, snow will be dropped from the top there all right i mean the symbols of snow will be dropped here so this is a kind of the decoration just so the user some process has happened similarly you can use the balloons as well so it's like that st dot balloons as soon as you use that you will be able to see that balloons are there and then snows are falling from the top all right so this is all about in this lesson thanks a lot for watching this i'll see you in next one